Imagine a helicopter so massive it can carry an entire aircraft on its back. A machine that's been called in to fight nuclear disasters, rescue stranded U.S. helicopters, and even haul a frozen mammoth from the Arctic. Most countries have tried to build heavy lifters. America has its king stallion, but this giant? Still unmatched. Welcome to Defense Firepower Today. We reveal why. That My 26's max takeoff weight is approximately 56,000 kilograms, and it was designed to move 20,000 kilogram payloads, numbers that keep it the largest helicopter in serial production. The U.S. Marine Corps' new CH 53K King Stallion, cleared in 2024, maxes at 36,000 pound external lift. That's still short by a quarter. And RAND's payload range data proves, at high altitudes or in hot conditions, that difference isn't about bragging rights. It decides whether a mission succeeds or fails. The MiA-26's edge isn't only size, it's transmission architecture. NASA's technical review details the VR-26 split torque gearbox, including stamped titanium structures used to handle enormous shaft horsepower while reducing weight, radical for the era and widely studied in the West. Split torquey load sharing is the key idea, distributing power across multiple paths to cut gear stress and raise power to weight. NASA's drivetrain research explains how this concept underpins high-power rotorcraft like the MI-26. At Chernobyl in 1986, when the reactor burned, it was this helicopter dropping tons of sand, lead, and boron straight into the radioactive fire. Few pilots survived repeated flights over the core, but they flew anyway. In Afghanistan 2002, U.S. Special Forces were stuck. A Chinook helicopter was stranded on a mountain at 8,500 feet. The solution? America called Moscow. A Russian Mi-26 lifted the crippled bird and flew it home because nothing else on Earth could. It's even fought wildfires. The Mi-26 TP with VSU-15 can drop approximately 15,000 liters in one pass. Guinness recognizes it as the largest helicopter firefighting system in the world. And in 1999, deep in Siberia, it hoisted a approximately 25-ton woolly mammoth encased in ice. An extraordinary one-off lift Smithsonian documented with operator testimony. No other helicopter could have said yes to those missions. This one did. On 19th August 2002, a Russian Maui 26 was shot down near Konkola, Chechnya, and crashed into a minefield. 127 fatalities, the deadliest accident in helicopter history. Contemporary policy analysis and humanitarian reporting captured the aftermath and accountability. To stay relevant, the type has been modernized. My 26T2V adds NPK 90-2V glass avionics, digital flight management, NVG compatible lighting, crashworthy seats, and the Vitebsk defensive suite, as outlined by Rostec and industry reporting during trials and introductions. Even in 2025, the MI-26 stands alone in the 20-ton lift club. America's CH-53K narrows the gap with a certified 36,000-pound external lift and better maintainability, but when one lift must replace many, physics still favors the halo. Is the MI-26 an aging relic or the one machine you call when nobody else can do the job? Tell us below. If you value fact-checked military analysis, like, share, and subscribe to Defense Firepower. Until next time, stay vigilant, stay locked, and loaded.